move your chair a little bit closer to the front. Uh, the uh, it, this it, it it's, may look complicated, Mickey Mouse. Uh, <laughs> professional amateurish at best I had intention to use this using this boring head to cut these seats here and this is not a milling machine video it's a McCormick Deer and M uh, mixer top seat video and I had intention of using this boring head with a a bit when 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 you when you when you put this thing up in yonder Actually, this these bits that I got, it leaves a slight angle. They're, they're not flat cutting bits, so I elected not. It's very, it's very, very. The angle is very little, but I wanted a flat seat, which is what is required for this type compensating valve. It is that option. That was the only reason for that little foray into the tools. Hey, if you can, if you can see what I got here, and this is only for show and tell up to now. I got the little bitty indicator here. Uh, one of them kind of setups right there. It's not good, but you know, it, it gets the job done. And I only left it here to show you that to. to Confirmed that I actually do this. It mounts onto the spindle, and when you when you come down with the with the it it makes that thing move, and you bring it down there where you get a reading, lock it in, turn that on zero, and then rotate the spindle it, to indicate your part being level. Okay, I done did that. This was just to, just to show you that that we did that, and that's the that's the setup that I did use there. This other indicator here, on a magnet base and a V block, and in the setup, and, and I do I do have this level and this this angle plate right here. That angle plate has served me well. The someone, it, it's quite thick. It was a large angle iron, and somebody sawed it off, and then they machined it a good, perfectly angle. Oh, it's really, it's really close. Works really good. It's heavy. Uh, it's just, it's a universal type apparatus. And I did put the two jacks in here because the pressure is going to be downward on this. And the angle this way is correct. The angle on that way is correct. This is uh, this is uh, steadfast. And the way this works, the bit I have in here is larger than the compensating valve diameter. But it's smaller than the machined hole in the carburetor top and when when the setup I got here is when when I bring when you bring the spindle down to a position that where it bottom if you can see the gauge here where it bottoms out and when that bottoms out I have that gauge dial turn to zero and the way that will work is once I turn the machine on and start milling away then I will take off like 20 thousandths and then I'll, I'll let that go and then I will take the little mirror with a with a flashlight and I will look down in there and look at that seat and if it's a good cleanup completely a hundred percent all the way around then I'll stop at that point the reason you need to know how many thousands you take off of that seat when once I clean that up and if that's not clean then I'll I'll just come on down with the with the seat and you know bring it around another whatever I think maybe ten thousandths and then I'll check it again uh, it's all every one of them will be different once that seat is cleaned up then I will know how many thousands 
to remove off of the back of this housing in order to make the spring length back to factory length, factory size. If you do not mill off the back here, then you have to put a shim in there in the form of something, and it's not good to shim up something if you can make it a permanent dimension. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's do one. Okay, I, 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 that was that was chattery and rough feeling, and when when it smoothed out, it smoothed out at fifty thousandths. There, there was no reason to stop at twenty because it was it, it had a irregular feel to it. And now that I'm at, now let's go a little clean up on it. That's fifty five thousandths exactly. So I'm going to stop right there. And I'm going to look down in there with the flashlight and the mirror. Okay. Oh, I can see already it needs a... That's pretty good. It, it needs some more. That's pretty good, but it's not... Uh, it's not 100%, so... Let's do it again. Okay, that's seventy five thousandths. Let's observe. Okay. It's pretty. You know, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to stop right there. Yeah. Now, I'll uh, remove this setup and take. 75,000 off of the back of the housing.